Welcome back, everybody. This week, the $5 Tuesday is over at the Movie Tavern in Exton. The Little Warrior and I went to see The Joker. And let me tell you something, it is as disturbing and insane as everybody's talked about. First of all, right, they talk he had a decline and he went into his madness and went insane. No, he was nuts from the beginning, right? So basically, out of all the Joker stories, you now the ones that you read in the comics, you saw Joe Chill in the Michael Keaton version of Batman, and then Heath Ledger and Batman, you know, the Dark Knight and all that, throw all of them out the window. Joker and Phoenix, right, is the best Joker ever. Ever. You know why? Because he was friggin' nuts. Movie starts out, right? He's a clown. Huh, the Joker. Who would have thought? He was a clown. And what he does is he's doing Kitty's birthday parties. And he's, you know, working for this guy, selling uh, this furniture and stuff, right? And it builds, and it builds, and it builds. He gets a gun. Messes up with the gun. Guess what happens there? Nuts, okay? But then it delves into his history, right? So you get you get kind of misdirected in this one thing. And if I tell you, it'll ruin the movie, right? I will throw a spoiler in there, right? But kind of misdirects, right? And then you find out he's having problems with his mother, who's also a basket case, you know what I mean? She was a few eggs short of a dozen. So anyway, so... He finds out her story that she told him of where he came from was a lie, right? Then she has a stroke and, you know, bad stuff happens from then. Then he's obsessed with this guy. What? Back up. Back up? Am I good now? Yeah. It's you think it's a joke? You think I'm a clown? That's what he did in the movie, but I won't tell you the end of it. So, at one part... He's falling in love with this guy who's like a Robert De Niro, but it's a Johnny Carson type of comedian. The movie was like in the 80s. It was, it's sort of like between 78 and 82. Because um, you could tell by the cars and stuff. And it looked like Philly, I swear to God. A lot of the scenes in town look like Philly. The old Philadelphia blue police cars. But anyway, that's beside the point, right? So you're watching this movie, and there are so many, what the moment you're like did that just happen right and i am so upset that i brought my 15 year old son because now he's not going to be able to sleep at night Damn okay straight. so you get to you know this this uh, johnny carson robert de niro guy right has him on a show he comes dressed up in his clown costume right and then it just goes off the rails insane okay so as you're watching it like five times in 10 minutes you're like did that just happen what the fuck right so then it gets to the end right and the pearls drop if you guys have ever watched batman you know what i'm talking about when the pearls drop which sets up the whole Robert Pattinson, the vampire dude from that weirdo vampire series, being the new Batman. Okay? It's it's disturbing. It's insane. It's going to win the Oscar. I, I It was great. But I'm actually kind of worried, and I'm going to have a hard time sleeping. So Og, I got to take Og to bed with me tonight. Right? So I feel kind of comfortable. But there is a moral to the whole story. Yeah, the moral to the story would be, even if you're a little special, still change the world. And he changed the world. More like he changed Gotham's diaper, but left it full of crap. So, next week's review will be on Downton Abbey.